Well, as more and more local schools return to class this fall, COVID-19 is on top of minds of many parents, and they've got a lot of questions about it, like if their kids will make it through the entire year in person and if they'll have to mask up in the process. We've heard from many parents here saying that they don't think their kids should be forced to wear a mask. They've told us they think that the mental and social effects of kids wearing masks can be worse than the effects of COVID on them. Now, it is true that kids usually don't have bad symptoms when they do get COVID, but it's important to know that it can happen. This week, an 11-month-old girl in Texas had to be flown to the hospital after contracting the virus. She couldn't be treated near her family because pediatric ICU beds are so full in Houston right now. Health officials say COVID is no longer just a disease for older people. Nationwide COVID cases in kids increased 84% this week. And Kentucky's head of public health says the Delta variant appears to be impacting kids more. Governor Bashir says parents need to do the right thing here to keep our kids safe and healthy. Your kids are not a proxy for a political battle. Your kids are not your property. They are your solemn obligation to do the very best for each and every day. And we need to make sure that parents are making good decisions for their kids to get vaccinated, to mask up. Bashir says over 4,000 kids in Kentucky contracted the virus last month, and 2,000 of them were under the age of 12, meaning they're not old enough to get the vaccine yet. Kids are getting sick more often now, but they also bring other risks. Since kids can't be vaccinated, they can spread the virus more. According to the CDC, the same amount of kids ages 5 to 17 contracted COVID as adults ages 18 to 49. Even if some of these cases were asymptomatic, many of the kids' family members were also COVID positive. The CDC says often kids are responsible for the spread of COVID in families because they aren't as good at their hygiene yet. The spread is especially common among kids in schools where masks aren't required and communities that have gone back to school are seeing upticks in COVID cases among their kids. For the very first time, we're seeing pediatric patients intubated with COVID in Tucson. I feel really upset that we didn't have a safe choice. I feel really upset that our community seemingly betrayed us. So as kids go back to school here, we have some tips from the CDC to keep everyone around them safe. Any kid over 12 should get vaccinated. CDC says kids should be wearing uh, masks in schools. And any kid who can't get vaccinated should be screened for COVID often. Make sure your kids are washing their hands often, especially at school. Keep unvaccinated kids away from anyone that's high risk. And as always, if they're not feeling well, make sure you keep them away from others and wear a mask yourself when you're around them.